new cell phone. Let's open it, shall we? Nice. Oh, I need that. They sent me a refurb. most satisfying thing in the world. Oh, oh, oh. Hopefully this one will work for a while. Maybe send me a damn refurb. Look at that. Refurbished. AT&T certified restore. Better fucking work. Alright. Postage. Done. Old iPhone. In there rattling around, I don't know, whatever. Get the important apps reinstalled because I'm an idiot and I never, I don't think I've ever hooked up my phone to my computer to back it up or whatever. So that's my fault. So I'm gonna do that today. I have no idea what else I'm gonna do today. I was thinking about something now. You know what, I'm gonna try it. Let's go to the store. I'm gonna try it, we're going to the store. So, this is something new, a little different view. Camera here. I'm an idiot because I forgot to bring, put the uh, memory card back in it. So now I'm using the phone. This, this phone quality is not that bad, even on the front facing camera. I have to say, it's not that bad at all. I mean, it's got good focus, better than my camera. This is the front facing screen, so this isn't even 4K or 1080, so this is pretty good. But anyway, why am I at the grocery store to pick up a few items for something a little different vlog style? Today we're going to have cooking with Andy. I know, it's ridiculous. I just wanted to try something different. Because if you watch my vlogs for a while, you obviously know that I eat breakfast all the time like every day almost every meal unless the sister-in-law makes something for dinner i will cook breakfast for dinner i don't care so we're gonna try my omelet i'm gonna show you how to make the biggest fattest fluffiest omelet there is so let me get the crap that i need go back to the house i'm gonna show you some tricks we'll call it easy breakfast food for single guys I wanted to test the slow-mo and all that stuff. I'm here, might as well. I don't really have much to shoot unless I shoot some cereal. <laughs> Hardest part is, is not covering up the microphone because it's on the bottom of the iPhone 6S Plus. So, I don't know, let's play with it. Try a little slow-mo. Had to be done. Had to do it. Had to do it in slow mo. That's hilarious. All right, enough fucking around in the grocery store. Let's get this crap and go home. Cook a big ass omelet. All right. So now we're gonna make an omelet. What you need is a pan, preferably one of these smaller ones because it's like the size of this. Mushrooms. Cheese. Three eggs. All right. So I'm missing something what am I missing oh I know chef's hat like it pretty slick huh all right not real difficult three eggs in there make sure you make the biggest possible mess that you can because you're a guy I do not put milk in there because it makes it weird consistency and weird taste and so I just basically use three eggs that's it mix said eggs grab the mushroom you can use whatever kind use the kind in a can for all I care it all tastes the same anyway now these are kind of big these are kind of big for me so I just like to make them a little smaller Time for the pan. 
Now, when doing this, you don't want it to be like super hot. Like we got this kind of stove, you know, where it's like whatever. I just usually put it between six and seven. Let that warm up a little bit before you put the eggs in there because the secret is in how you cook it in the pan that makes it fluffy. No butter. Okay, this is the tricky part. This is the part you need to pay attention to. Put your eggs up in there. The thing is, is to not overthink it. Not overthink it. Not hard, very simple. It takes like four minutes to make this. So, don't overthink it. So, see how the edges here, how the edges here are starting to fluff up? What you do is you put your fork underneath it and tilt it. Do it all the way around the pan. You'll see how the, the juicy stuff is going towards the bottom. Just like that. And let it do that again. Okay, see how it's starting to fluff here on the ends like so? That's when you basically take your fork and put it underneath there like that. Lift it up, basically lift it up, tilt it. So all this runny stuff goes underneath. Do it in different directions. So that way you get rid of all the runny stuff. You see how it just kind of flows underneath there? Let that uh, fluff up a little more. The goal is, is to, you're basically putting a layer, you're taking the wet layer, you're moving the dry layer, lifting it up and dumping it, and then all the wet stuff goes underneath, which makes it what? Makes the eggs get thicker. And see if I can do this. See how it's a little juicy in the middle there? Just flip it. All there is to it. Let that set for 30 45 seconds. Got a chase. What I like to do is sprinkle it on the inside here. Doesn't matter how much you put. And like I said, 45 seconds on that side, and you're done. Basically, take it here, wiggle it off the end until you get about halfway, and you flip it on itself. Like so. Make sure you turn the damn oven off. I'm notorious for not turning the damn oven off. You want to take you a little cheese or whatever, sprinkle a little bit on top for there. So this has been my first episode of cooking for single guys. Quickly. Maybe I should name it something else. Quick cooking for single guys. <laughs> so that was my first episode. I've been thinking about doing this for a while, but there's the final product. Throw your little salt up on there, whatever. You know, everybody's got their own preferences. So, yeah, I just love cooking. So, I love cooking breakfast and steaks on the grill. But other than that, you know, crawfish. They don't have crawfish here. They do, but it's fucking horrible. I don't ever eat crawfish in Las Vegas. Never, 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 never. If you like my cooking channel, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, tell your friends about it. Tell all your single friends to watch this video so they can make really good omelets. And I will see you in the next one. Peace. Oh.